I wake up with a knot in my chest, trying everything just to get out of bed. It ain't working. It ain't working. All right, guys. So, sorry, I was having a like jam session over here. We are going to be talking about Canva and creating Instagram story, um, well, creating highlight covers on using Instagram story templates on Canva. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So let's get in here. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger uh, for the recording. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get in here. And actually, let me just make this a teeny bit smaller so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, we're gonna type in here and I want you to type in Instagram story highlight cover. And you see how it already has the size built in here for you? This is exactly what I was talking about in my story the other day where you need to have the same pixel height and width for your highlight cover, otherwise things will get cut off. So I wanna show you a couple different ways that you can do this. When you get in here, when it finally loads, Finally, when it finally loads, you're gonna see that there are several like pre-made options for you. This has already been sized. Now, I will say right off the bat, I do have the premium subscription, um, but if you hover over any of these, like it'll tell you if it's like paid or not paid. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you ones where people like literally write in what they are um, on their highlight cover. And we're gonna take the example of a cupcake bakery, okay? Um, and we'll do that for everything, just so everything's consistent. Um, and then I will show you this way with text and then another way with no text. Okay, so let me just get rid of that. So when we go in here, let's start with this one. So this one, I don't know about you, but oh my gosh, I hate the background on these and I'm not a fan of the font but it is a good starting place. Um, so let's just, let, let me just show you what you can do in here. So what you're gonna wanna do is just tap on the screen and it's going to appear. Now, I would typically recommend that you have no more than five to six highlights. And because what you want people to do is actually be able to go through your highlights and see what you have to offer. It's kind of almost like a little mini website or you can think of it as like a micro blog on your Instagram story highlights. Um, so let's just say add new page and let's go through and let's add five. Okay, so that's five. And then we're gonna go in here and we'll say, oh my gosh, I hate the background. So what I want you to do is come over here. You'll see you have photos, elements, text, background. I want you to hit background. And when you get into background, I want you to, let's do baking and let to see no baking, um, kitchen. Nope, okay, so let's go pretty neutral and let's say, let's say, wait. And let's just try and find like an aesthetic, you have to think of what your aesthetic is. So let's just think of like a bakery that focuses on like florals and, and, and like, like white brick walls. Like that's like the interior of their space. So I want you to just tap on it and it's gonna appear right here on your screen. Um, you don't have to try and drag and drop, you can just literally tap on it. Now, if you hate the font, you're gonna come here. Now again, I have a premium version, so anything you see with a little crown next to it, that's premium, so just ignore those. We're gonna kind of scroll down here and see if we can't find something that would be befitting of a bakery that really focuses on florals and, um, Let's see, florals and let's see what does this look like? No, not a fan. Um, we're just gonna try and find something really quick. So I don't waste too much of your time and we can keep moving on. Um, let's do caveat, see what that one looks like. Nope, not a fan of that either. Um, this is the hardest part guys, so you know, anything in design, Nope, hate it. Let's try dancing scripts. Perfect, okay, we're gonna go with that one. And then we're gonna really focus in on pink. So any of these colors, these are your default colors here. If you wanna make a new color, you just hit the plus sign, and then you're gonna come over into the pink, 
And let's kind of make it like a mix between pink and purple. And we're just going to make it really nice and uh, make it a little bit softer pink. So we'll go there and we'll just raise this tone up a little bit. So it is more pink. Um, and then we are going to just make this maybe more, yeah, we're gonna make this maybe a little bit more. Now, if you're over here, you can see this right here. We're just gonna put like a little bit of transparency in there just to soften it up a little bit. And you can just drag this and make your text that much bigger. Now, when you go to put this in your Instagram stories, um, you're gonna notice that this is um, the right size and you won't have to adjust it or anything. It'll just be perfect for what you need. Um, now, let's keep going. Let's say, okay, I want to be on this page. Um, oh, that one's paid for. Okay, so let's go with maybe something that's not but we still want that white to pop. So really you just come in here and you need to find, perfect. And let's just say this one is, um, just this one free, beautiful. Let's just say um, pricing. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna say, what font was that again? Oh yeah, dancing script. And it should just have saved to the very tippy top. And let's, well, the way you get rid of this is just drag this out and then you'll just make this one a tiny bit smaller. And then again, you'll just take that transparency and just make sure you're on the circle, not the text. And you'll just make it a tiny bit. Um, and then obviously you'll want to come into your colors again by tapping the A and then that color is already saved there for you. Um, and then you can keep going. So you can kind of get a sense of, of how that would work with somebody who has a bakery, who has a floral needs, and like they're trying to go for like that really like nice, clean, white space look. Um, and again, you can literally just scroll to your heart's content in here um, and find things that would work for you. I would suggest if you're gonna go for like white and, and pink florals, that you stay pretty consistent with that white background every other slide and just keep this really simple. Um, so maybe even, even more like that or it's just something very like soft and pretty. Um, you could keep it all extremely consistent by just staying with the white brick, um, which would be another one of my recommendations because then it would all look alike. Um, and You'll probably want to make sure the font is all the same size. Um, and the really easy way to do that is just to take the, the font that has like your biggest, um, you know, like pricing is a pretty long word. So you're going to have to knock that down a little bit. You'll just want to come back here and say, okay, this was 123. And make it the same size. Because otherwise it'll look like they're all different sizes on your screen. Does that make sense? Um, so you can just, you literally just keep going through. Now, say, say you're like, no, I don't like that look. I want something that's very simple and clean. And I want to put down below um, what, what it is. So like if you were actually going to write out beneath the highlight cover what it was. Um, let's go back to templates here and let's X this. Um, and let's go with, like since we're going with the cupcake theme, let's come in here. Now, this one is very interesting. When you click on this cupcake, you get all these different colors up here. So if you're going for a specific color scheme, like for your brand, um, this is where that would really come into play and where you would really need to mess with those things. So you would come in here and you would say, okay, maybe instead of blue, I want to go with like a nice mint green. Um, and you'd have to obviously like mess with it till you find that color. Then you would come to the pink and you'd say, okay, well, let's make that, let's make that like a different color pink and let's make this like a gray. And then um, your heart on top, I believe is gonna be this one. Yep, and it'll change your sprinkles too. 
And then in the background, you can say, oh my gosh, I want like a nice buttercream yellow. So you're going to just knock this up to like a more yellow tone right here. And you're just going to bring this in until you get like a nice buttercream. And like I said, you'll probably have to play with the tone just a bit. Get like that nice buttercream, buttercream yellow. But then it will save, and when you add your new page, it's just going to bring that right over. Now, say you really wanted to make this cupcake pop. Make your cupcake just a little bit smaller, and you can go into Elements, okay? And then um, let's search for Circle. And we're just going to find, like, a nice, simple, um, a nice simple circle and we're going to make this that that pink tone now you'll see I can't click on this cupcake because this is in front so what you need to do is just position this and send it backward and then you'll be able to actually click on the cupcake now if you're like oh my gosh I hate that circle it's so ugly which I really do you can, you can really mess with the circles options in here until you find one that you do like. Um, you could even, that one's premium, so let's not do that one. You could even come in here and choose this one. Again, send it backward. And then you could choose the mint green and the blue, and it's gonna do like a nice gradient color here for you. Um, if you don't like that, you could, you could take the pink and make it like a blue pink one. Um, and then I would just make your cupcake just a little bit bigger. Um, so really you have so many options in here with what you can do to play with like your highlight covers. Um, if you don't wanna recreate that circle and everything all over again, you literally just copy the page and then you would have to take your icon out and to find a new icon. So let's say we're looking for um, let's say we're looking for like a mixer. Let's go in here and let's say mixer. You could just pop this baby in here, um, make this pink and green. Um, you know, if you're like, nope, I need something a little bit bigger that match. So the thing I will say between this one and this one, okay, you only had two colors to play with versus here where you had multiple colors. So if you want to keep that trend going, you would literally just need to come in here um, and you would need to then choose colors that are similar um, to what you have going on in your previous picture so that your branding matches. And you can mess with it a little bit just to kind of see which one would match a little bit better. That probably matches better than the other one. You could even, nope, that needs to be brown. So if your outline here is brown, your outline down here needs to stay brown. So you just have to kind of mess with it a little bit to make sure it's what you want. And then again, make it look consistent with where the sizing on the circle. And then just copy that page again. And then you could literally do the same thing with. Um, rolling pin. Again, this one has multiple colors, so this is more of what you would actually want to see. Um, and it would be consistent with what you already have going on. And if you wanted to change this and just put it straight across like this, you could, you could put it this way. Um, and again, it's just by grabbing this little circle icon and just rotating it all the way around. Pretty easy. Um, so again, those icons are, are really, 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 really simple to use. Um, you can literally do whatever you want to the back. You could even look for a square. You could find like a nice square that you want. Um, you could change the color on that one and just make it you know, you could make it a little transparent, um, send it backward, get rid of the circle. Let's just make sure I'm actually getting rid of the circle. Get rid of the circle and do a square instead. I will say circles are probably safer because you have less likelihood of them getting cut off. Um, but you could, again, you could mess with it and see 
see if it's what you want. Um, now, again, there's just so many options in here and that's why I say you really should just mess with Canva and see, I'll go in here and I will show you, um, like in my personal Canva account, it's really easy for me to go back and I can even go back to highlight covers I've already created um, and I can just, I can change them. So like I can, this, this person's branding was pink, white, and black. And um, if her branding was to change in the future, I would already have this design saved where I could just go right back in and, and go right back into her highlight covers and just keep going. We started here with the text in for pink, white, and blue. Um, and then we graduated to these ones right here. So it's a very different feel and it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish with your branding on your account. Um, and like for my personal account, I have, um, this is a logo one. These ones don't really work anymore because the sizing is different. Um, but those are what I had originally used for my personal highlight covers on my personal Instagram page. But anyways, there's just so many options. There's so many different things that you can do. Um, it just makes it really, really easy um, so that you don't really have to think about the sizing and you can really, you can really just kind of grab on. And like I said, it'll all save right here. Um, it's not a big deal to go back in and change things or evaluate things. Um, and even for your Instagram stories, you can really get in there and create some really pretty stuff. Um, I would love to do a tutorial on things like that with you because again, I just, I love working in Canva. It's so easy and it, it saves me so much time that I would otherwise have to be putting in to InDesign or um, Photoshop or whatever. And this just, it, it makes your life so easy, you guys. Like, I don't use Canva all the time, but for certain things, I definitely love it. And I think that um, it would be uh, life-changing for you guys. This is another highlight cover series that I did. Um, black, or not black, excuse me, brown, dark brown, and white. Um, I don't think I have all of them saved there either. Um, so I would just highly recommend that you get in here and you, you play around with them. Um, uh, a lot of my clients aren't on Instagram yet. I just have two clients who really are and the rest of them I've really just kind of helped out other people with their highlight covers because they just don't know what to do. Um, it's really fun and it can be really easy. It just really depends on what look you're going for. Again, do you want the text inside of the actual cover itself or do you want the text below and just have an icon? Um, if you have any other questions on that, I'd be happy to answer them for you. I'd be happy to show you more about Canva um, just because it's a product that I love and use myself on a daily basis. So I'm very familiar with things in here. Um, and I'd be happy, happy to run through anything with you guys. If you want a tutorial on something else, please let me know. Hopefully that was helpful and uh, I look forward to doing a little bit more of these with you guys in the future. Thanks.